mean, I mean, get into it. Backstage, she passed. Backstage, she passed. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Please comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications, notifications, notifications. As she passed another backstage. She passed, it's another backstage, yeah. She passed, I got another show Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Steph here. And today we are on board the beautiful Voyager of the Seas. We are at sea today. And it's another episode of what? Backstage Sea Pass. We're wearing a new costume tomorrow. We're wearing two new costumes tomorrow. Because if I'm going to have this try to transform this into like a Las Vegas residency, hashtag resident SEA, I need to bring the Vegas to the ships, right? So this is the first costume that we're gonna wear for the first show. Is it not given, and mind you, it's high-waisted and it snatches the waist, just like this. This is all Fashion Nova, so this is a good example. Just like right here where it's given that, that's what this, this piece uh, does here. It's a plunging neckline, which I love. However, we dance on stage and we don't wanna have a Janet Jackson moment by all means, especially not in front of some kids. So I'm gonna have a um, bodysuit. I'll show you, this is fun. This is for real backstage sea pass. Cause I wanna try to get some boobs too. Like, so I have this, right? This is the first thing that's gonna go on underneath and it crisscrosses in the back to give us that extra um, push, you know, extra lift. Because, I mean, I didn't have to buy my girls. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> anyway, we'll have that on first. And then I wear these under my jumpsuits. They're like compression tights, but they snatch you in at the waist. And they're my skin color because you guys know when I wear the one leg thing, I didn't want to have like, I wanted it to be the illusion of, you know, that I didn't have anything on underneath. But I really have these on underneath and then on top of both of those i have a bodysuit on right and that's just gonna pull everything together and it will also eliminate this plunging neckline because we'll have this on underneath so it won't be the audience won't see it from that far unless you're in the front row but that's what we're gonna do and look y'all this is now this is me being campy as the girls say. Um, so, <laughs> cause I was like, what kind of necklace am I gonna wear? I gotta have some kind of necklace. So y'all, let me show you. I have this, cause this is kind of like Elvis masculine, but still girly. Yeah, I have this bow tie necklace and it's a choker. So it's gonna fit like this. And then we'll have the costume on. So it'll be very, very fancy. Sorry, it's not centered, but you get the you get the illusion, right? That's gonna be so cute. And then um, we'll still wear our S, you know what we wear, our S earrings and our ring or whatever. And we'll still wear our silver boot that we wear. So that's our look. Is this not giving like what I would have wore to the Renaissance concert had I not been working all summer. You know what I'm saying? I know Beyonce toured all summer. I've been touring for 13 years, nonstop. <laughs> no, seriously, this is probably what I would have worn though. It's it's my opportunity since I didn't get to see Queen B. <sighs> have my own Renaissance. So <laughs> this is what we're wearing for the first show. Are y'all ready for what we're wearing for the second show? You better start coming to both. I'm just saying. Hold on. Hold on. Wait until you see what it's given. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? You're not ready. First, let's, let's just take in the sequin of it all. And again, this is Fashion Nova. Let's just take that in. 
And y'all, it's another jumpsuit. It's a jumpsuit. And you know it's high waisted, so it is giving curves. I've already tried this on. I have to have like private fittings before I show y'all because some stuff might not make it. Okay, and we got a couple more, but I purposely got them in size smalls so that I would keep pushing myself in the gym. So anyway, this is a medium. It fits so good. This is backstage CPAS, so you know we're going to fast forward to tomorrow and you'll see everything. But is this not giving? Is this not giving? Right? Okay. So, of course, we're in gold now. So, what do we need, ladies and gentlemen? Gold S earrings. Come on. We got to have gold. You got to be seen in gold. You got to be seen in gold. Okay? And this does not have a plunging neckline, so... We um, don't need a necklace because we've got the drop earrings, right? The first show, that bow tie is so campy, but I, I, it's cruise ship, so you got to be a little campy. Anyway, okay, so next, right? We're in gold. So I know y'all are like, what shoes? At least that's what I'd be saying. Um, If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it, okay? The same shoes in gold. And when I tell you these are so comfortable on stage, look at that. Look at that. Fashion over, y'all need to just go on and hire me. Quit playing games. The boots are not fashion over. I got the boots on Amazon, okay? But this is fashion over. So this is what we're wearing for the second show tomorrow. I am so excited. Like the cool thing about having this be a residency and me being on the same ship, uh, you know, for six months is that I can just start really incorporating different things into the show now. Because when you do all the different ships of the fleet, you get all different orchestras. So I've had to just completely focus on getting the orchestras tight on every single ship. And I can't, I can't really uh, relax and enjoy the production and, and all the stuff, the behind the scenes stuff that I love. And I learned a lot of this because I was a production singer, you know, and we'd have costume fittings and, and all of that. And honestly, I used to hate what I had to wear backstage because I used to be the biggest girl in my cast. And sometimes the costumes were just not for curvy, you know, I'm a curvy gal. And so I, my fittings would take the longest and I would never just feel comfortable or confident on stage, you know? And so the fact that I'm able to do this and do it on a budget, this is not expensive. I think it was $50. These were maybe 40 bucks on Amazon. The other one was $26. My other jumpsuits are like $35. So I don't want you all to think like I'm spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But the cool thing about doing this is that I'll be able to just have more costumes and, and just bring them on that next week and, and wear something different every show possibly. You know, like Beyonce did. You know how you see a different video? She'd be in a different city and she'd have on a different outfit and everybody'd be wondering what is she going to have on. I would like to recreate that look for less, okay? <laughs> so this is my attempt, um, but I'm only gonna get stuff that I really, really like, you know, and Fashion Nova is good at putting out constant, constant new styles and stuff. So Fashion Nova, if you're watching, can you keep the sequin jumpsuits coming, please? I'm just saying. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this opening of Backstage CPAS. I am gonna head to the gym, have my workout for the day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. Said it's another backstage, yeah. Another seat back. Ooh, it's it's so I wasn't gonna check in until rehearsal, but it's just a beautiful day. And this is what this is the destination of my residency. This is the five-day cruise you'll be on next year. This is where we'll be all next year, okay? So I'm just trying to show you all how beautiful it is. So this is a show day. And you're gonna be sailing into Costa Maya, Mexico. Uh, we'll get there about 12.30 in the afternoon. And all aboard, I think it's like 6.15, 5.30. But shoot, if it's, if it's 6.15, you come at 5.15, okay? Um, and then my shows are tonight at eight o'clock and 10.15. So, you know, start planning now. Do you wanna have dinner early or do you wanna have dinner late? Do you want it over here? Do you want it over there? Do you want no, seriously, just start picking, start planning your cruises for next year, okay? DivaOfTheSeas.com. I'm so excited. Uh, I can't wait to wear the costumes. They're hanging up, they're looking good. So 
I just had a lovely ride uh, this morning. I had to edit Backstage Sea Pass that just aired. It was the double two-part cruise special, Navigator of the Seas. So thank you all for watching that in advance. Right now, I'm gonna go to the buffet, get something to eat, get some breakfast, and then do the premiere with you guys because you, you know I like to watch it live with y'all. And then we're gonna head to rehearsal. I'm praying that this orchestra like just got on board and uh, that they're gonna be here for the next six months, you know, so then we can start practicing with the, the you know, diva of the seas, Stephanie Parker, hashtag residency orchestra. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I don't have my light, so it's gonna get dark, but I will see you all at rehearsal. All right, peace. Hey y'all, I just wanted to pop in here. I'm on my way back to the room after breakfast. I had a donut. <laughs> anyway, um, one thing I love about ships is, and it's one of the first things I noticed when I started doing this about 13 years ago, everybody says good morning. When you pass people in the hallway, whether you know them or not, black, white, female, whatever, everybody says good morning. Everybody says good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. So uh, yeah, okay. In real life, I gotta shut it down. We don't wanna lose our voice again, amen. <laughs> no, shutting it down. I'll see y'all ever. Welcome back to my channel. It's another backstage, yeah. Another seat pass. Oh, I got enough. Okay, guys, we are in rehearsal for our, I guess this is like opening for the residency. Like, this is where we're gonna be. This is our ship. Uh, I'm meeting some of the team. A lot of the team is going to be going on vacation by 2024, so they won't be here. But that's good that a new team will be coming in January because then they'll, that'll be the whole, you know, team for the whole six months. They'll be here. But I'm very excited. The costumes are in the back, in the dressing room. And I'm just really, really excited. So this is the stage. Everything is getting set up. This is for the horn section. And this is my table with my water and my towels. You gotta bring your shoes to rehearsal because we need to adjust the mic height with heels on. So you have to bring those. And these lovely gentlemen are just uh, moving the piano and setting all of that up. And that's Carlos, our sound engineer. But yeah, so we're getting ready to get started. I just have to make sure that we have the top of the show preset. So we, we're working on getting the JPEG photo uh, up on the side projectors. And then um, I'll go out into the house uh, and show you guys. So top of the show, we have the purple curtain that comes in and then it's gonna be a scrim in front of it. And uh, just like we did on the Navigator and it's gonna have the Whitney JPEG photo on the scrim. And then when we start the show, it's a pre-recorded intro. When the introduction starts, um, that's when we'll fly the scrim out. And then when the piano starts, I have nothing, that's when we'll fly the main purple curtain out. And we're gonna tech run that. For those of you that don't know what tech something is, basically that means we're gonna run it as is, technical rehearsal. So everything with the curtain, with the, um, uh, the scrim and everything. And just so that by the time we get to showtime, everybody on the team is comfortable, so. All right, I just wanted to try and explain more of how I run these rehearsals. I know most times I pop in here after rehearsal, but um, because this is where we're gonna be and we're setting up this hashtag residency for six months, I figured I'd you know explain how this is truly a one woman show, okay? One woman, okay? This is my renaissance, y'all, okay? How, I wonder how many people, just wait, first of all, did y'all see the Beyonce grossed $563 million with her tour, making it the highest grossing tour in history? First of all, congratulations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when I saw that number, I was like, I wonder how many people she had on a team. Like, just stage team, hair, makeup, glam, wardrobe, dancers wardrobe, choreography, food, catering, like it must be nice to have all them people and to have somebody that can keep your bags for you and you with your husband and your family, that must be nice. 
Anyway, <laughs> we gonna create our own renaissance tonight, okay? For the seven o'clock show. Seven o'clock show, hello, is always gonna be the renaissance show. I'ma try, I don't know. F that, both shows is the renaissance. <laughs> Resident, what is it? Residency Minnesota. Okay. All right, I gotta get to work. I gotta get the band tight. I think I just got my piano player, so I'll see you in a minute. Another seat back. Ooh, it's another backstage. We're backstage, we're getting ready to tech uh, the opening number, just making sure everything is tight on the scrim for you guys on the other side. I got one of the baddest orchestras on the seven seas behind me. Hey, everybody, Kenta, our musical director. I'm sad he's not, I'm not I don't get him, y'all. The Oasis has stolen him, so he won't be here for the residency, but he's here today. And we got my man, Chris Alejandro, and my man, Albert, on the keys, y'all. So let's have fun. Thank you, everybody, for your hard work. I'll see y'all uh, after rehearsal, I guess. We got it up and running. We got it up. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I got about an hour to get dressed. Thank you so much, guys. That's our stage production manager, Ron, and Carlos running this amazing sound. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, all right, okay, I'll see. Yes, I'll be back about 7.40. Thank you. Okay, guys, I am gonna go and get myself together, put a little makeup on, and I'll see you all backstage when we put these new costumes on. Backstage. See back, it's another backstage, yeah. See back, I got another show tonight. Ooh, it's another backstage. See back. I'm loving it. All I keep singing is, we gon' fuck up tonight. I love it. I love it. Renaissance, realness, this is not opening night but kind of like the opening dress rehearsal of the hashtag residency and are we not ready are we not ready i mean get into it get into the campiness of it all let us pray heavenly father thank you thank you thank you sometimes i don't understand the way you work but my God, thank you so much for every blessing, everything, every gift you've given me, Lord. Bless the orchestra's hands. Lord, let somebody leave out of this theater feeling better than they did when they came in. Uh, let me feel good in these costumes, Lord. And uh, I thank you. I ask all these things in your name. Amen. All right. I'll see y'all on the other side. We got, we got the night. Uh, I'm getting my renaissance song. Yes, baby. Getting photo tonight. of it all I mean come on come on come on oh I love it I am loving it oh my goodness this is so cute okay let me quit messing around I'll see y'all on the other side <laughs> what did I do for you girl and I know and I know and I know I the fool for you love like a riddle yeah give me that clue To the night time, nah, nah, nah
start a new tradition okay since this is the opening of our hashtag residency we're gonna get to it because it was everything tonight oh my gosh but since we don't have to fly to the ship anymore i say we get a different bottle of wine in houston and we bring it on the ship because you know you can bring uh up to one uh unopened bottle of wine with you in your carry-on bag when you check in so we brought this from home so we'll have a different bottle uh maybe every time we go out <laughs> so this is rufino pinot grigio uh lumino <laughs> delle venezi where is it from italy lumina means illumination of the moon and is produced from Pinot Grigio grapes grown in the beautiful northeastern region of Italy. This well-balanced wine reveals delicious notes of pears and citrus fruit and delivers a fragrant fruity finish. Say that three times fast. <laughs> anyway, I think, you know, let's bring different bottles of wine, you know, and maybe people will just start giving me bottles to bring on board so we can showcase them, okay? Now, I don't know how I picked this one out. It smells really good. I like it. It's light, it's everything the description said. It's light, it's fruity, it's refreshing. You can taste the citrus, you can, it's, it's pretty good. Rufino, I like it. Anyway, cheers to a successful, I don't know if I, I don't want to call this opening night of the residency because it's not, but this is the ship we'll, we'll be doing it on. And maybe we'll call it a dress rehearsal. I don't know. It was really, really good though. Uh, I got to tell my audiences that um, I'll be doing a residency here next year. They all were so excited. Everybody, the whole team. Man, orchestra was great. Kenta, I wish I had him the whole time. God, I wish I did. Uh, everybody though, thank you so much to the band, to uh, Rob, cruise director, Ron, our stage production manager, Carlos on the sound. Uh, thank you so much to Marvin on the lights. I know you were killing it. And if you were at this, um, let's see, what day is today? October 23rd show, 8 p.m. or 10, 15 p.m. Comment below, let your girl know. We had such a good time in the costumes, y'all. The costumes? The costumes of it all. I mean, I loved both for different reasons. Like I love the first costume, the Renaissance Beyonce one for that reason, because that's what I would have worn to the Renaissance show. And I love the bow tie. I love the campiness of it. I love the just, if you don't know what camp means, it's just like over the top, just ridiculous. Just look up camp. It's just so fun. Um, I think it was a theme for the Met Gala one year was camp. Um, so I just love that bow tie. And then the gold, I don't know. The gold is just, I don't know. I just love it. I love gold. I want to wear more gold. So shout out to Fashion Nova. Y'all know I'm going to keep coming with the costumes. Okay. This is, this is a new thing. We're starting new traditions in 2024. Speaking of new traditions, uh, No, seriously, this gave me the lift. We got girls, okay? We got the girls out. 
but it worked the everything we talked about at the beginning of this video everything costume wise it worked i felt good up there the shoes worked it was great i had a really really good time so <sighs> i'm excited about these things to come everybody in the audience was excited about the record again keep streaming the album i got to tell the audience that we charted on itunes number 33 you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway the most exciting thing is guys we're gonna be home in a day and a half okay we don't have to fly we'll be home on thursday we'll be home back with maxi poo we've only been out for what four or five days this is a... hallelujah hallelujah anyway guys i think that's it i'm gonna wrap this video up here this has been so much fun i've had a fun fun day with you guys make sure you comment and like and subscribe and turn on your no no i'm being really really silly anyway guys rufino Peter grigio i love you guys cheers if you want to know what ship is coming next, we head back to the Navigator uh, next month for two short cruises uh, on the Navi. So I will see you later. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Please comment and like and subscribe. And turn on your the lady still thanks you for watching.